All right, howdy. Two more steps to go. Step 13. Almost done with this Mickey box. So, uh, this step is going to be putting the side panel here uh, in place. I will be putting the switch in place. And now, in the original instructions, uh, this power board was being put into place. Uh, in the revised uh, power board design, this was put in much earlier, just the second step. So, um, if you haven't put this in yet, you probably will have to take some, basically take out some of the screws, pop open the, uh, the chassis from, basically pull this, this corner down enough to get the board in place. Um, for this step, uh, you're going to want just this side panel. First step uh, is to take off the covering. Now you could have a helper take off the covering of everything, or you could do this all in one go, which is actually what I usually wind up doing when, before I get started and uh, doing the assembly. I usually take all the covering off just because it's kind of easier to get it done with up front, and that way you're just cruising through all the other steps. Okay, so this goes in this orientation. Uh, the holes here may or may not be the same, uh, and also these two holes, the smaller holes on either side, will be uh, removed in the next revision. Uh, so it basically goes in just like that. First step that we're going to have to do, if you have your power board assembly with the switch connected, gently hold on to the, the crimp. Don't pull from the wires. So hold on to the crimp and gently rock it until the switch comes off. So, on the outside, so, if you're looking at this way, so you have the big hole, smaller hole, and then you've got a couple of other little features and another big hole up here. Uh, the switch is located into the hole with the notch. Uh, if, if you're looking at it like this, uh, like basically this is the back side, so you're going to want to put it in. There's a notch, well a tab on the side of the, of the switch. Just start pressing it in, and it should just pop right into place. You may need to pinch uh, these side tabs, kind of loops on the side of the switch. Uh, you might even need to use a tool or something to press it down to get it to come in very easily. Do be careful, um, depending on the, the thickness of the acrylic, uh, it may be easy enough. If you keep pushing, it may break the acrylic. So be kind of gentle with that. Okay, so now that we've got this switch into here and it looks like this, uh, connect up the cables again. Doesn't matter uh, which ones go to which. It's just a single switch, so there's no uh, polarity or anything you need to worry about. So just push the connections on until they are firmly in place. And then next step is to fit it into everything. Now there's locating features in quite a few places here that you'll need to get it into. Um, one 
is here, one is here, one is here. Um, the others are floating features, so you don't really need to look at against them. So again, for ease of assembly, I'm turning it up on the side. And I'm pushing it down onto the mating features. Now, if you're going to do a uh, Raspberry Pi conversion, you would probably want to connect up. So, onto the power board, there is a space for a 5 volt regulator. Or, actually, is it a 5 volt? Yeah, I think. It's either a 5 volt regulator. Anyway, there's space. Yeah, there's space to populate a regulator on there. And then also your USB cable. Um, for power uh, only goes right there uh, and then runs straight up here. Uh, you may need to, depending on which version you get, you may need to drill through the, the standoffs that we have in here uh, and then put nuts or we're going to try to get them sized properly so you can put your M2.5 screws straight into there and not have to worry about doing anything. Two screws onto the Z axis. Make sure that that's in place. Again, don't over tighten it. Check the height of that corner as you're tightening it down. Make sure that it doesn't lift up too much or anything. up first, tighten on this top screw. So that's step 13. So all that we did is we put the side panel on, installed the, uh, the power switch on the side here, connected up the power switch to the two leads from the power board, and just put all the screws in. So there's two here and four on the outside. Okay. And next up is step 14, the very last part.